New media music distribution has changed the world forever, but when most people think of these technologies, the first thought that comes to mind is piracy. Although there is a lot of controversy regarding the widespread use of new media distribution, these technologies prove immense benefits for musicians of this era. There are key reasons as to why new media music distribution helps artists. The technologies provide easy access to music and globalization of music. They allow for the creation of new types of music. And they give musicians amazing opportunities in self-promotion and musician networking. It's hard to argue against the fact that these new media technologies allow people to have incredibly easy access to music. All you need to get music, legally or illegally, is an internet connection and the right type of software. Napster was the first mainstream illegal means of peer-to-peer -peer networking, but is now a legal online music store. Other examples of both legal and illegal means of downloading music are the iTunes Store, Kazaa, LimeWire, torrenting sites like the Pirate Bay and Azuris. One could say that most of these websites have to do with piracy or illegal music downloading, which only benefits those who steal the music. The artifacts receive no proceeds from having the music stolen. How is this beneficial? Using these technologies for the purposes of illegal distribution of CDs is wrong, and it is also a gross misuse of the technology. There are many benefits to having easy access to music via these technologies. Some bands put out quality albums on iTunes when it would be too expensive for them to put out physical records. People use free radio sites like Pandora and Last.fm to explore types of music they like, but would not have discovered if it were not for these new music technologies. The value of this is that people can find great styles of music that are totally new to them. They explore the music they find to get new influence and musical inspiration. An example of this is the British band Thievery Corporation, whose song Lebanese Blonde has Middle Eastern influences. This adoption of new and different styles show that digital media is allowing for music globalization. Because new media distribution allows for easy flow of music, Many electronic artists and DJs can get access to songs that they can use to create completely new forms of music. New media technology has allowed for the birth of a new type of music. Much like artists who have taken advantage of new technologies to create morphing images, musicians have been able to mash up songs and have created a genre of its own. One artist who has pioneered the genre is Girl Talk. Because of new media distribution technology, he was able to get all sorts of music and splice them together to create his own music. This song is called Play Your Part. Some could say this isn't real music. Some might say that Girl Talk is simply ripping off music, that there is no originality. He's just taking other people's songs, cutting out small portions and forcing various songs together. This isn't creative expression, this is simply unoriginal. But we think that this is nothing new. The line between various music styles is both blurry and fuzzy. Jazz music is made by combining all types of musical influences into a new and original sound. Bands like Cream and Led Zeppelin took from all kinds of genres like blues, folk, country, rock, and jazz, and they created their own musical style and sound. What Girl Talk and other mashup artists as well as DJs who specialize in creating remixes have done is create new music. New media distribution technologies empowered these artists to do so. New media distribution technologies have been used by artists as a powerful self-promotion tool. Radiohead famously released their album In Rainbows over the internet, allowing fans to choose how much they paid for their album. Many fans chose to pay a whopping total of zero dollars and zero cents. Radiohead made a bigger profit off of In Rainbow than they made for any of their previous albums. Bands like Nine Inch Nails and Girl Talk have also experimented with the idea of using the internet and not necessarily receiving money for the albums they have created because they like the idea of everyone having access to their music and building their fan base. Immortal Technique, an unsigned rapper from Harlem, is also in favor of new media distribution. Without it, his fan base would be much smaller. He also would like to retain full creative control of his music, which is something a record label would take away from him. He'd prefer to have his music downloaded illegally and hear the words he feels, rather than people pay him to hear watered down rap. But what about the artists who just want to focus on making music and don't want to have to deal with promotion? Wouldn't new media distribution technologies forever change the music industry, putting a greater emphasis on self-promotion? This could take away from the creativity of music and prevent real artists from wanting to express themselves musically. You could say this, but we think it'd be a gross misunderstanding of how the music industry works. Slash, from Guns N' Roses, used to drop artwork and go around LA sticking flyers for the band everywhere when they were just starting up. All bands have to promote themselves. Nowadays, artists and bands are using new media distribution to promote themselves without having to rely on the music industry to help them. They are no longer part of the system. Look at Immortal Technique. He is fully in control of his music. 
and is free of record companies and record company executives. This is a freer, more democratized way of music distribution, something that all musicians can appreciate. New media distribution has also allowed for musicians to network. Websites like musicnation.com allow for bands and artists to put their music on the internet and show it to others interested in music. This form of distribution allows for people to discuss various different types of music and talk about what works and what doesn't work. It allows for a spread of musical ideas. This is further example of the democratization of music. People coming on the internet to shape the music of the future. While there can be many arguments against piracy and illegal distribution of music, it is hard to find legitimate claims as to why new media distribution technologies shouldn't be embraced. Musicians and the society that supports them should welcome these new mediums, which can open up a new world to influences of all kinds. Likewise, new styles can rapidly arise thanks to a new medium, fueling and directing the arts in ways that previous medium can. Finally, the new medium aids in a musician's journey, self-promotion and networking, allowing musicians to get their message out in the world.